Question 11. The diagram is a right pyramid with a triangular base, PQR, and height SN. If PQ is 6 cm, and these are 5 cm and are equal, then we have PN. PN is 3.3 cm. So this is 3.3 cm. Then an angle SP and this angle over here is 52 degrees. 52 degrees. Calculate correct to two significant figures the vertical height SN. So we are finding this height over here. Now let's take triangle PNS. So from triangle PNS, from triangle PNS, we can use trigonometry to find SN. So we take the ratio that involves SN. That will be the tangent of 52 degrees. So tan 52 degrees and 52 degrees will be equal to SN over the adjacent which is 33 3.3 centimeters so the length of SN the length of SN will be equal to 3.3 and 52 and 52 degrees and this will be equal to 4 point two two four to so two significant figures will be equal to 4.2 centimeters now we want to find so this is our eye aspect then we are finding the area of the base prq so p r q is an isosceles triangle it's an isosceles triangle then the size are five five then we have six centimeters over here so we'll find the height of the associated triangle P R let's call this place N. This R N will divide PQ into two equal parts. So this will be three centimeters. So this will be three centimeters. And this will also be three centimeters. So we use Pythagoras theorem to find Rn. So we know that we know that Rn squared Rn squared plus Nq squared NQ squared will be equal to RQ squared. RQ squared. So we substitute the values. This is 3, this is 5. So we are going to get RN, RN squared, RN squared to be equal to to be equal to RQ squared, which is 5 squared, minus QN squared, which is 3 squared. And this will give us 25 
minus 9 and this will give us 16 so you have Rn Rn to be equal to square root of 16 and that will give us 4 so now, this, now that this is 4 we know that the area of the triangle so area of the associated triangle area will be equal to half base times height half base the base is 6 so half times 6 times the vertical height which is 4 so this will give us 3 times 4 which is 12 centimeters squared or 12 yeah 12 centimeters squared now you have been asked to find the volume of to find the volume of the whole pyramid and we know volume of pyramid is equal to 1 over 3 times base area base area base area times height and the vertical height so we'll find the vertical height already which was SN SN and we found the base area already which is area of triangle PRQ so the volume will now be equal to volume will be equal to 1 over 3 times 12 centimeter squared times the vertical height which is let's use 4.224 because we run the final answer to two significant figures. So we, are, we have to find, we'll find our volume to be equal to 4 times 4.224. And this will give us 16.896, 16.8. Sixteen point eight nine six centimeter cube. So to two significant figures, we will get seventeen seventeen centimeter cube. Now we are finding the angle between the slant face SPQ S. P Q and the base P R Q of the pyramid when we produce this line to meet this line and we draw a line from the top to meet this line over here We'll form a triangle like this. We'll form a triangle like this. If we draw these triangles with this orientation, we are going to get a triangle like this. So we can see that, let's call this place T. We can see that this is N this is s and this is t so this is the slant surface i want to find the angle that it makes with this surface so we are finding this angle over here let's call it theta and we know sn to be equal to 4.4.2 to 4 then also then also 
we need to find nt but we know that from here to here is 3.3 .3, and from here to here is 3 units so if that is the case then we can use Pythagoras theorem to find nt over here we know that this will be the hypotenuse now so 3.3 .3 squared will be equal to 3 squared plus nt squared nt squared so nt squared nt squared will be equal to 3.3 .3 squared Three point three squared minus three squared, and this will give us one point eight nine. So nt nt will be equal to the square root of one point eight nine. One point eight nine. And this will be equal to 1.375 1.375 so this is 1.375 so we use trigonometry to find this angle over here so tan theta tan theta will be equal to tan theta will be equal to opposite which is 4.224 over 1.1.375 and this will be equal to 3.07 so theta will be equal to the tan inverse tan inverse of three point three point zero seven three and this will be equal to seventy nine this will be equal to seventy nine point nine seven one point nine seven two then to two significant figures we are going to get eighty degrees eighty degrees